morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1,063rd edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni, and that would be me. Good evening, traders. This video is being filmed on Sunday night for trading, well, Sunday through Monday, August 19, 2013. As I mentioned, there's 1,063 of these educational videos. These are geared to teach you the art of technical analysis and how to apply that art moving forward. Traders, before we get into this, futures trading we know can be extremely risky and cause substantial financial loss. Futures trading is not suitable for all trading accounts. So, here we are. Sunday evening. Traders, as you know, I love to read the newspapers all weekend long, Financial Times, you name it, Wall Street Journal, I go for Investors Business Daily, I go through the stack. Generally on Sunday nights or Monday mornings, I come in front of this camera and I talk to you about what we've seen in the news and how that affects the markets going forward. This weekend was no different. I did all my reading and I have my analysis. Before we get into the analysis, let me just say this, traders. This is what I'm reading in the papers. Can you read this? Is this insane? You know what that says? The economy is in collapse. That's what's going on. The economy is in collapse. Traders, look, a quick little lesson from Oscar before we get moving here. Anybody out there in this world, when you see a market start at the bottom left and go all the way to the top right, I assure you of this. There is no planet that we call that a bear market or an economy crashing. This is not an indication that an economy is crashing. So, insanity, but that's what's starting to happen out there. I mean, traders, once again, look, we just made all-time new highs, came off, made all-time new highs, and this is the end of the world? I mean, <laughs> really? So, learn how to read a chart, you people out there in newspaper world, please. Next. And you know what? If it turns out to be a bear market, we'll deal with it. But you don't call that a bear market. All right, so what else is going on out there, traders? Something that struck my attention as I'm going through the newspapers. Look at this. Eh, I guess just another day at the beach in Egypt. Look at that fire in the background. I mean, are you kidding me? Tell me these people aren't tough. Wow. Then there's this. The most interesting thing that I found in this weekend's newspapers, and we'll see what you think about this. You know, I always said that you just can't trust the stuff coming out of China. Well, in the papers, if you look today, they will show you that the GDP figures have been wrong. The GNP figures have been wrong. They've been falsifying figures, and we know that that's likely the case. You know, China will get it together sooner or later. But I'm reading the papers, and this comes out, an article. China has finally taken the fake knockoffs to the ultimate, ultimate extreme. <laughs> a zoo in the city of Lahu, I think you pronounce it, I'm not quite sure, it's L-O-L-U-O-H-E. A city has come under fire after charging patrons to see a lion that turned out to be a dog in disguise. This was a zoo in China. <laughs> the canine was painted like a lion and given a fake mane. Patrons became suspicious, however, when the lion started barking. I mean, are you kidding me? What were they expecting when they painted a dog and put a mane on it and charged admission for the zoo? When it started to bark or lift its leg and take a leap, what do you think they were going to do? <laughs> you got it. I mean, are these people kidding me? In that article, they also tried to pawn off some sort of a fox as a minx or something. I mean, unbelievable. So <laughs> you got to watch the stuff coming out of China, people. All right. Let's get moving. What's going on on Sunday Night Traders? I had a fist fight with the Omni from 6.30, 7 o'clock Sunday morning. I started reading and analyzing, and I have to say I have had a fist fight with the Omni all day long. But one thing I cannot do is interfere. What's the fist fight about? This. Do not, do not, do not, do not fall in love with the downside. Why? Because Omni's weekly analysis is already flagging early warning buy signals. The daily analysis for Monday, Sunday night through Monday, says sell a rally, E-mini S&P. Okay, I will not interfere with that. The weekly analysis says, listen, do not fall over the downside. This is not going anywhere. Bonds are coming off. A sign that if bonds are coming off, certainly the stock market doesn't belong in the heater on the downside for too long. So I'm going to tell you this, traders, be very, very nimble with your short trades. We will go short. There is a red on the arrow. We will be going short. 
Remember this. I'm going to show you a short segment in a moment to give you good reasoning. But keep this in the back of your mind that if the market starts to hold and these buy signals could start working anywhere from Sunday night straight through the end of this week. So for now, we're day traders. We have a sell signal on the daily chart, but the weekly is saying do not fall in love with the downside. Please keep that in mind. If you do follow on me and we get short and the market dumps, we are going to get out and get out of the market's way because again, be very nimble in this environment. We're in a big booming bull market having a pullback and I'll show you what that means in the chart segment. Traders, if you like these videos, if you like learning about the art of technical analysis, please subscribe to my YouTube videos and then you will be notified via email every time I produce another one of these videos. Traders, what else is going on? Omnicamp, yeah, baby, yeah, September 27th through the 30th, the last weekend in September. Two seats left open at Omnicamp. There's two open remaining unclaimed tickets. I have spoken to many. I have not qualified as many as I thought I wanted to, so I've left two seats open. You know, traders, it doesn't take much to qualify for an Omnicamp. What I'm hoping for is that you have a fresh palate that you are not super jaded, that you're not flipped out over Elliott Wave and you think it's the only holy grail. If you are not jaded by any one particular form of analysis and you think you can have an open mind and you can tell me if a chart looks bullish or bearish, if a chart starts here and goes there, if you can tell me that's bullish, you can come out to Omnicamp. Traders, if you'd like, there are two tickets. Come on down to LiveAlaska.com, fill out the Omnicamp application, which is the top right. Click the link, and I will call and see if you qualify for the camp. Next, so the chart segment will show you that ES and NQ, we must start off with the red right Omni on the downside. I will not get into the weekly analysis in this video. I will not show it to you because right now it is bearish for daily. We're going short. I'm not going to confuse you with anything on the long side, and I'm not going to hedge. Short is what we're calling. But by tomorrow night, I have a feeling I'll be pointing out some interesting things for a, a case on the upside. All right. So, traders, with no further ado, let me take you into a chart segment. Not a very long one, but it should show you what's going on. Let's go look at some charts. Traders, Oscar Carboni is holding another Omnicam live in Las Vegas. Omnicamp is an intensive four-day course taught by the Wall Street whiz Oscar Carboni himself. Oscar has been analyzing markets and trading commodities on and off the New York trading pits for over 30 years. Trading for a living is a very difficult business. Oscar will simplify the process so that you can easily understand and analyze the markets. Classes are limited. For more information, call 702-629-4755. Our phones are staffed 24-7. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. Trading futures is not suitable for all accounts. Okay, traders, this was the chart I was showing you when we had that silly article in front of us calling for the markets in a free fall. The economy is crashing. Where? Let me ask you a question. If you see it start here at the bottom left and it ends all the way up here at the top right, on what planet do we call this a bear market? Or how does this indicate that the economy is in a collapse? Let me show you something, traders. We're in a bull market. We make a high. It has a pullback. We make a high. It has a pullback. We, make a, we rally up. It has a pullback. We make a new high. It has a pullback. It is customary in a bull market. It is not a crash. And then if you really want to look at how things are working, we made an all-time high, and then we came off. And we rallied and made another all-time high, and now we're coming off. It's okay. That's the way markets work. So what's wrong with this pulling back? Now, if you wanted to call this a bear market, you could not even consider calling it a bear market until when you get past this last dip. So you had the market rallying, right? It made highs. Then it rallied up, and it made a dip where it tested support. It stayed above this support, and it rallied for a new high. On the way back down, you would have to take out this support in order to even consider the beginnings of a bear market. We are here right now. You'd have to take out this spot to even consider calling this a bear market unless you are just, unless you're just injecting your hopes and your thoughts and your emotions on your opinion because a technical analyst would not have this considered a bearish market. 
and we would look for this to be support if it ever even got that low. So traders, just a little lesson. It's a bull market. Don't listen to these lunatics. A couple of down days after an all-time high gets made, and the next thing you know, they think that we're you know going into a 2008 tailspin. So keep your you know keep focused on the big picture. Look at the charts. Don't read those wacky newspapers. E mini S and P up front. What's happening for tomorrow? Support has been breached, as we know. We came down through this channel. There is a possibility you can end up all the way down here and testing those previous lows. Well, actually, you shouldn't get that low, but maybe somewhere up here. Not that I'm calling for that, but that would be okay if we went all the way down to here without taking out these previous lows. That would be okay. This red line represents previous lows. That would still be an okay market to move higher. Traders, this is the summer. This is mid-August. What are you expecting from the markets? I'm surprised they made it this high. Do you know what mid-August is like, most of you traders? How can anybody not expect some kind of a little pullback during mid-August? It is the most vacationed month of the entire year for traders. So there's nothing wrong with what's going on here. Don't let the psychos get you nervous. NASDAQ. So we got to play it from the short side. We will. NASDAQ did break this support. So look, it's got a major support line, the red line, starts here, goes here, goes here, support, support, support. Even up here it was supported. Look what happened though, it breached the support, went back up and hit it as resistance and began to fail, and that puts us here. Now look, I am not calling that bullish not by any means, right? We're bearish and we're gonna sell into that, but the weekly charts, when I show you them during the rest of this week, you will see that they are not calling for a big down move, just some pullback. And then we've got the Dow Jones Industrial Average Traders, and this is what's interesting. This is a do or die moment. And why? Because support starts all the way back here, support, support, and we have just touched the support on Friday. We did not breach it. We are not under it. This is the stock market traders. This is the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the major, major index. It is staying above the support line for now. However, the trainee did get through its support line. The Dow Jones Transportation Average did get through its support line, so I'm assuming this follower will do the same. However, this is a do or die day on Monday. If it holds here, I would imagine those buy signals are gonna come right into play. If it fails to hold here another day or two on the downside is a likely event. Traders, pull your own charts, do your own homework. Make sure that your analysis agrees with the Omni Trading Academy's analysis if you are going to take any of our recommendations. So traders, can you tell the difference between a bull market and a crashing economy? I hope you can after seeing that. Traders, that was the chart segment. I hope you agree. Come on down to livewithoscar.com and make sure that you come into my chat room. It is free. I am there to teach you technical analysis. Join a free membership at livewithoscar.com or at least subscribe to my YouTube videos at YouTube. In this way, you will be notified the moment I put out a video. When I do a YouTube video every night or just about every night, I send it out through my site as well. So if you become a free member at my site, you will get an instant email the moment one of these videos gets produced. All right, traders, so that's it. Video number 1063 for Trading Sunday, Monday. That is August 19th. Do not forget... Don't fall in love with the downside because Omni's weekly analysis is already flagging early buy signals. Be very nimble if you are going to trade on the short side. Traders, always keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Rock and roll, and I'll see you at Omni Camp September 27th through the 30th. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. 